Welcome back everybody. In this quick little video, I am going to be explaining the difference between prefix and infix functions. Now, in last week's fun fun function video, hosted by the charming MPJ, uh, in a little conversation thread in the comments, uh, somebody asked what an infix function was, and I gave a little explanation. So that's the impetus for this video. Uh, we're going to be using Haskell for this. I you to do some much more interesting things than, for example, JavaScript using infix functions. So get my interpreter fired up here. So the first thing that's interesting is that it allows you to create uh, your own operators. So if you think about the expression 5 plus 6, if you don't have a mathematics background or something like that, it may not initially seem obvious to you that the plus operator here is a binary function. It takes two arguments and produces a result from those. Once you think about it for a second, you realize, of course, that's actually very obvious, but it might not be obvious at first. Now, in Haskell, you with the normal syntax, this is infix syntax for a binary operator, it's set in between its arguments. So you have one argument, the operator, and then the second argument. But you can wrap an, a, a infix function in parentheses and make it prefix notation. So here, that works the same way. But you have to wrap it in those parentheses in order to syntactically tell the program that the arguments are going to follow it instead of it being set in between its arguments. Now what this allows you to do is create your own uh, operators. So you could do something like x, y, and then this could just be, uh, it could just be something like x plus y, but we'll just make it different. We'll do x plus y plus 1, just to make it, oops, just to make it a little more interesting. And so now, if we were to do, for example, uh, plus, 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 6, 7, we now get 14. Whereas 6 plus 7 is obviously 13. And likewise, if you remove the parentheses, you can do that the same way. You can also use backticks to make infix, to make prefix functions infix. So if we had a function with uh, that's called add with three Ds instead of just two, and we did the same thing, x, y, x plus y. And then we did 6 backtick, our new add function, 7. Then we get 13. So that's the difference between infix and prefix. It's really just where the arguments lie with regards to the placement of the function itself. This is generally considered more readable, the infix notation for operators. But there are times when it actually becomes really convenient to be able to use prefix notation. Because you might be thinking, well, for example, plus and then 5, 6, that, that just seems extra complicated. Why would you do that? And it's actually at least one of the reasons I prefer to, use, to reference is the use of currying combined with this notation makes things really convenient. So if we're doing plus 5, 6, we can actually move the 5 inside of here, and it'll still work the same way, which means that then we can map over a list with our uh, curried operator. It's still just waiting for one more in, and if we pass in that argument one at a time from a list, then we get a new list, and we've used a curried function, and it's a nice, easy to read, uh, easy to reason about syntax. So that's a cool thing that you can do with mixing binary uh, operators in as uh, curried prefix functions. And this backtick syntax, at least in Haskell, is one way that you, uh, you can declare prefix syntax functions and then use them in fix if that makes more sense in your program. So. Again, quick video, hope that cleared anything up for people who had some questions and got you thinking about interesting ways that you can use this in your own code. So I'll see you in the next video, guys. 
Thanks for watching.